Hello student, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic and solve the question for highest common factor. What basically the highest common factor is? Highest common factor is the product of the prime factors of two or more numbers, which are common between the two numbers. Let's say we have a number 60 and 192. In order to find the highest common factor of these two numbers, first we make the prime factor of number 60 and then we make the prime factor of number 192. Once we get the prime factor for both the number, then we are going to compare that what are the common prime factors between the two numbers. So here the first prime factor for 60 is 2. As we can see that 2 is also available in 192. So the first common factor we have get out of these two numbers is 2. Again 2 is available in 60 and 2 is also available in 192 again. So another common factor is 2. Then we have 3 and as we can see that 3 is available in both 192 and 60. So we have the third prime factor is 3. But if we look at 5, we can see that 5 is not available as a prime factor of 192. So we stop here because we have only 3 common numbers between the prime factors of these 2 numbers. And now we are going to multiply these 3 numbers with each other in order to get the highest common factor which is 12. This is the first method. Here we have find out the prime factor of numbers separately but we can also find out the prime factor together by dividing them with the number that is divisible by both the numbers. So we put 60 and 192 together and start with the least number which is 2 and we know that 60 is divisible by 2 and also 192 is also divisible by 2. So we get the answers here. Now going further, we know that 30 is also divisible by 2 and 96 is also divisible by 2. Now we have 15 and 48. But 15 is no more divisible by 2. So we try with the 3. And we know that 15 and both 48 are divisible by 3. Now we have 5 and 16. But we know that 16 is not divisible by 5. And if we place 16 here, then 5 is also not divisible by 16. Completely divisible. So we stop here because there is no one number that can divide these two numbers completely to get the answers. So again we have three common factors which are 2 into 2 into 3 and the answer is 12 which is same when we done by getting the prime factor of each number separately. We have another method of finding out the highest common factor which is a division method. In this method, we divide the bigger number by a smaller number. Here we have the bigger number is 192, so we are going to divide 192 with 60. This is a simple division and as we know that 192 doesn't come in the table of 60, but the nearest value is 180. So 60 into 3 is 180 and 12 come out as a remainder. With this remainder, we are going to divide the 60. Now we know that 12 into 5 is 60. So we have a remainder 0 and 12 is the last number with which we have divided the smallest number. So our highest common factor is 12. Now we have questions in which we have to find the HCF of 32 and 88. By using the method 1, we have find out the prime factor of 32 
which comes out as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and then we have find out the prime factors of 88 which are 2 into 2 into 2 into 11. Here is the working. Now as you can see that in both the numbers 3, 2 are common. So we are going to multiply these two with each other and our highest common factor is 8. Now we are going to solve this similar problem with the division method. As we know that we are going to divide the bigger number with the smaller number. Here the bigger number is 88 and we are going to divide it with the smaller number which is 32. The nearest value to 88 in the table of 32 is 64. So 32 into 2 is 64 and the remainder is 24. Now we are going to divide 32 with 24. And as we know that in the table of 24, the nearest value to 32 is 24. So we have a remainder of 8. And now we are going to divide this 24 by 8. And we know that 8 into 3 is 24, so the remainder is 0. Now, our highest common factor is the last number with which we get the remainder 0. And that is 8. So, 8 is our highest common factor with both the methods. Now, the next question is, find the HCF of 108 and 288. And we are going to use the second method here in which we are going to find out the prime factor of both the numbers together. So we put 108 and 288 together and start with the 2. We know that 108 and 288 both comes in the table of 2 and are divisible by 2. So our answer is 54 and 144. These both are also divisible by 2. So our Answer comes out is 27 and 72. But 27 is no more divisible by 2. So we move to the next number and try it with the 3. 72 and 27 both are divisible by 3. And again 24 and 9 both are divisible by 3. But now we have 3 and 8. And as we know that there is no common number that can divide both of these number. So here we are going to stop and our common highest common factor comes out as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which is 36. In the next question again we are going to use the method 2 but this time we have 3 numbers and we have to find the HCF of 425, 200, and 100. We know that 425 is not divisible by either 2, 3, and 4. So we have started out with the 5. With practice, you can get an idea that with which number the numbers are completely divisible. So we have started out with the 5 and here we have answer A5, 40, and 20. These three numbers are also divisible by 5. And the answer is 17, 8, and 4. But now as you can see that there is no number that can divide completely these three numbers. If we use 2, then we know that 17 is not available in the table of 2. Similarly, if you use 17 here, 8 and 4 are not going to div completely divisible by 17. So, we stop here and our highest common factor comes out as 5 into 5 which is 25. Now, in the next slides, we are going to solve the practice questions. Now, we have a practice question number 1 in which we have to find the HCF of each of the following number using both the prime factorization and the division method. So the first set of number we have is 48 and 36. By using the method 2, we have put both the 
numbers together and started dividing them with the lowest possible number, which is 2 here. And as we know that if we divide 48 by 2, the answer is 24 and for 36, the answer is 18. Further dividing with the outcome with 2, we have 12 and 9. But now we know that 9 is not completely divisible by 2, but 3 is the number that can divide both these numbers 12 and 9. And the outcome is 4 and 3. But we know that now there is no common number that can divide these two numbers completely. So we stop here and our prime factors comes out as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which is equivalent to 12. Now we use method 2, 3, which is division method in which we divide the larger number with a smaller number. The larger number here is 48 and the smaller number is 36. We know that 30, if we, 48 is not completely divisible by 36, but if we multiply 36 with 1, it is nearest to 48. So we multiply 36 with 1 and our remainder comes out as 12. Now we are going to divide 36, which was the smaller number previously. Now it is a larger number compared to 12. So we are going to divide the 36 with the remainder, which is 12. And we know that 36 is completely divisible by 12 and the remainder become 0. So 12 is basically the last number that makes the remainder 0. So this is our highest common factor with the division method. Similarly, for part B, we have divided 96 and 144 with 2 and then with the 3 because at a point where we have a set 6 and 9, we know that 2 is no longer the appropriate choice. So we use 3, but when the outcome comes at 2 and 3, then we know that there is no common number that can divide both of these numbers. So our prime factors comes out as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, and they are equivalent to 48. Now with the division method, we have divided larger number, which is 144, with a smaller number, which is 96. And as we know, that 144 is not completely divisible by 96, but if we multiply 96 with 1, then it is nearest to 144. So, otherwise, if we multiply it by 2, the outcome will become larger than 144. So, we go to the nearest possible number. So, here it is 96 and the remainder is 48. Now, we are going to divide 96 with 48. And 96 is completely divisible by 48 with the remainder 0. So, 48 is the last number that makes the remainder 0 and this is our highest common factor. In a same pattern, we have solved the part C and our answer comes out as 8. Now we are going to solve the second question. In this question, we have to again find out the HCF of the prime set of numbers using prime factorization but now we have three numbers rather than the two numbers so the best possible method to solve this kind of question is the method two in which we put three numbers together and then start dividing them with the lowest possible number so first set of number is 106 204 and 180 we have divided these numbers with 2 and the outcome comes as 63, 102 and 90. But we know that 63 is no more divisible by 2. So we are going to use the other number which is 3 
and the outcome comes as 21, 34 and 30. But with this set, we know that there is no common number that can completely divide these three numbers simultaneously. So we stop here and our highest common factor comes out as 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6. Similarly, for part B, we have 30, 75, and 105. We know that 75 is not completely divisible by 2, so we have not started off with 2, and also 105 is not completely divisible by 2, so we have started off with 3 and divide these three numbers with the 3. Now further, we have divided the outcome with 5 and the last set is 2 into 5 it is 2, 5 and 7. And we know that there is no common number that can divide these three numbers simultaneously completely. So we stop here and our highest common factor comes out as 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. Now we have the last set of number, which is 99, 121, and 363. 11 is the appropriate number that divides these three numbers. But there is no further common number that can divide these three numbers. So we stop here and our highest common factor is 11. Hope this video is helpful in understanding the highest common factor. Keep watching and subscribe my channel for further videos. Thank you.